Got to use headphones as a microphone here. Oh, well. I uh, got a little idea. It's pretty good. Uh, I have a very high IQ. I hope it's good for something. LOL. Um, well, you've never seen this plan before. It's the only one that will work to divert the flow. Diverting this flow is the only way this will stop. We need to tap that well out, run it dry, or at least run it to a much lower pressure before really filling it in with concrete. I saw some concrete drainage pipe sections. They're highway rated. They, they use them for drainage under highways. Um, these are hollow, hollow cylinder preforms they're putting in down the road. I suppose they're about four feet wide by six feet long or four by four or something like that. These have uh, a male lip on one side and a female groove on the other and can link together. I've seen these up to 16 feet wide um, in some places. I don't remember where. Build a drainage pipe going straight up. Make this into a tower. Start at the base with a clean flat area. Stack each one on top of the other. Make guy wire attachments to hold it in place, like the ones you've seen on, on uh, radio towers. These, these guy wire attachments could be every couple hundred feet. Strap in or reinforce the cylinders as you fit them together with bands of some sort, metal or, or some sort of outer banding. At a quarter mile, we could start pumping out because this should be high enough for the ice not to form anymore. This structure can come all the way up to the surface and we can turn it into an eternal flame monument as a memory of what happened until these, uh, the oil and gases are gone. I hope it works.